Hi everybody, I'm Lian Duan. Today we are going to chart test. The topics I'm going through these videos are testing overview. What is chart test? At the back and DB chart test demo. First topic, testing overview. There's three type of testing. Template testing, smoke testing, integration testing. Template testing. Template testing let us verify the template rendered. It is match our intended or not. The testing is fast to run because it only checks the syntax error of template files. It cannot catch the errors which how the resource integrate, such as dependencies and deployment order. There are two commands for template testing, Helm Lint. Helm install or upgrade with minor minor dirty run and minor minor debug. Next, smoke testing. Smoke testing run against the deployment infrastructure as part of the Helm install or upgrade. Smoke testing can be used for non-invasive validation of deployment to catch the issues. Since the testing run on the actual production environment. We have a limited in what we can test. Usually only test port studies. Smoke testing is native of Helm chart. The name is test hooks. Smoke test command is Helm test plus release name. Integration testing. Q is quick check the key function of the release. Integration testing definition based on your org or company policy. Next topic, what is chart test? A chart contains a number of Kubernetes resources and components that work together. As a chart author, I want to write some tests that validate my chart work as expectation when this chart install or upgrade. Also, the chart test will help the customer to understand what the chart behavior. Where is the chart text file location? The location is under chart slash templates slash tests folder. Next topic, how to add a backend DB chart test? The answer is create a pod resource to test the Helm chart. This is my chart test YAML file. Kind is a pod. Metadata has common parts, name and labels read from under a helps.tpl file. If you want to know the detail, please click below link to understand how to use template functions and pipelines in the template file. The important things is at helm.sh slash hook, the value is test. Helm used the annotation to trigger the test process. In Helm version 2, the annotation is test-success or test failure. In the Helm 3, you still can use the test success. Well, the Helm 3 document suggests use the test only. Container name is nc command. Image is busybox. Command is nc. When busybox is running, will launch nc command to check my Redis port status. If port open, the test result is success. If cannot access, the test result is failure. Latest topic for the video, run Helm test demo. Let me log into my Linux box. Go to v8 folder. Use pwd command to get the current folder with full pass. Use hum lint for template testing, no issue. And then use alternative command, helm install or helm update with minor minor dirty run and minor minor debug to verify template file syntax, no issue. Run Helm install command to install my app chart v8.
after chart installed successfully, we are able to run Helm test command to verify the release chart status. Command is Helm test release name plus namespace. This is test result. Helm chart test running successfully. All topics were completed. To summarize, today we learned three testing types, chart test definition, and go detail the test chart YAML file. Also demo how to verify the template in two ways. Latest demo how to use Helm test command. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was help. And it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below. And I'll try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.